This is my AQA GCSE Physics Revision Guide that you can download completely for free from the website. So I just thought I'd go through some of the different sections about the AQA course, how to revise, some of the content checklists I've got here, and then a final bit about exam preparation. So uh, as you get the guide, you can learn a little bit more about the GCSEs you're studying at the moment. And it's suitable for both Trilogy, uh, which is often the combined award where you get two GCSEs at the end, or physics, which is often called triple science. And this guide is also going to be suitable for foundation and higher tier students. Don't forget, of course, that you can subscribe to me on YouTube to stay updated with all of the latest videos. Um, inside, I have the structure of the exams, a bit about the grades that you could get at the end of it. Um, and of course, you can follow me on TikTok as well, where I've got even more short videos. I've got a section here. Uh, and I think this is why this guide is probably quite different to many other revision guides, because I'm going to guide you through your revision with what to do step by step. The other thing that can really help you with your revision is if you get a copy of the GCSE Physics Exam Revision Notebook. And this has many pages to help structure your revision as you're making your own notes. And as an example of what I mean by that, is that you can write in your definitions, you can colour code things, you can underline the keywords, uh, and you can basically do this for the whole of the course, but it's down to you to make your own revision notes, and you can add to this as you do more past papers in the future. So I've got things here about how to be active when you're revising, about making flashcards, about spaced repetition, and also really emphasising how important it is to do past papers. Now in the guide as well, I've got a link to all of the video resources that you can find at GCSE Physics Online. These ones are all completely free to view. And if you have either a school subscription or an individual premium plan, you can access hundreds more videos that cover everything you could possibly need to know about for the GCSE Physics course. The main part of the guide uh, is all colour coded and I've got uh, things to do with energy in orange, things to do with forces are in blue. And that's the same as GCSE Physics Online. And then what you can do is you can actually go through the tick list and tick things off as you cover them in class, as you're revising them, and you're preparing for your final exams. And of course, you can come back to this. And as you understand more, you can make sure that you update the tick list so that you know that you've covered everything that could be assessed in any exams. So I've got sections on electricity, the whole of the course. Um, I must just draw your attention to the things which are highlighted in this light blue colour are only for those doing the triple science, which is the physics, uh, and any content which is highlighted in bold text, like this statement over here, is only for students doing the higher tier papers. So there's a lot of good information there that you just need to work through, and that's going to make sure that you've covered everything you could possibly need to know for any exams that you have coming up. Uh, as we go through, there's some information about working scientifically, um, information about the required practicals that you will have seen at least in class and anything that you haven't covered if you scan the QR code at the top it'll take you to a page where you can find videos that cover every single one of these required practicals. Um, I have some information about the maths for physics and again the QR code at the top links to the page at GCSE Physics Online for more practical advice and actually um, works examples and video explanations of everything that you see here. A little bit about the calculator. Uh, quantities and units are just simple things that you need to know. And also the equations, although you'll be given many of these in the exam, you should try and learn all of these off by heart as you're preparing for any physics exams. Common circuit symbols, ammeters and series, voltmeters and parallel. Um, a load of definitions at the end for you to learn. And then the final section is how to prepare for your exams, including using past papers. Now you can use the AQA past papers, and everything you can find at AQA past papers on the GCSE physics website. There's also links there to all of the older specification AQA past papers, as well as links to Edexcel, OCR A and OCR B past papers, which often have very similar comment, uh, content to AQA. And also on my website, you can find all the past papers for all of these other exam boards as well. I've got a handy past paper tracker that you can download and fill in and also I've got this grade converter so when you're doing the old specification past papers which were graded A star to G uh, then actually what you can do is convert that A, B or an A star to your grade if it's a 6, a 7, an 8 or a 9. So I've got these for all of the past papers going back to 2013. No, back even further than that, back to 2012. 
So um, this is my um, AQA GCSE physics revision guide. It's a completely free digital download. So what I suggest you do is you maybe save it on your device or you print it off and you can fill it in as you're actually revising for your AQA GCSE trilogy and physics exams.